Hello there YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys, you know, for the people who are having problems with like low virtual memory or if your PC is just slow. Um, this is like a basic default step on how to do this. Um, no programs needed. The main thing you're going to need is, you know, a flash drive. Uh, the first thing you want to do, first step I'm going to show you here is you're going to go to my computer. You're going to right click it, go to properties. Once that opens, you're going to go into advanced system settings. Next, you're going to want to go to the performance section and click settings. Um, adjusting the visual effects will help increase as well. Um, if you want to take out everything and leave just a few that you use, then th that'll be good. Um, but what I'm going to get into now is in the advanced section, you're going to go to your virtual memory section and hit change. When you first go here, you're going to see this checked. Um, that's just by default when you, you know, first get the operating system or whatever. Um, what you're going to want to do is uncheck that. You're going to want to click on custom size and then you're going to have to set the initial size and maximum size. Um, for you guys who are not very familiar on how this works, roughly it goes by the amount of RAM that you have on your PC. So let's say, you know, like I'll show you here, this is what you're going to want to do. It goes in megabytes. So. Uh, what you do is you open up calculator. Um, like for an example, I, I got four gigs, but let's say you have one gig. So your one gig usually it's like one thousand and one or whatever. So you'll go like this times. You know some people do times one point five times two. Um, just don't do too much. So you know make sure you know what you're doing. Uh, let's just say we did one point five. So one point five. So if it was I will put 1501 here rather than you know letting it automatically manage my paging files. Okay. Next, we're going to go into the flash drive section. Um, if you have at least a gig, that's good. Um, I recommend at least four gigs so that way you can use the the full advantage of a uh, Ready Boost. Um, there's a lot of people out there who will say Ready Boost slows down your PC. Well, that's everybody has their own opinion. It's a good feature that. Um, Windows 7 offers, you know, back then Windows XP didn't have Ready Boost. So, what would you do is you'll go here, you would right click on your flash drive, you will click properties, you will go into the Ready Boost tab. You know, you can either dedicate this device or use the entire flash drive, or you can just use the device and use whatever you want to use. The more, the better, so that way you can get the best advantage out of it to help speed up your operating system. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions or anything, just comment. Uh, please rate and subscribe, and thanks for watching.